Hey everybody, this is Cecil Alexander with Jazz Lesson Videos, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at my mentorship session with JLV on February 26th at 2 p.m. If you want to sign up, the link is in the description below. So the session is going to be covering uh, how to develop bebop vocabulary, and we're going to be taking a look at things like bebop scales, which are a really big part of my playing, as well as how to use chromaticism in your lines and how to generate ascending motion using arpeggios. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at three quick tips for improving your bebop vocabulary. So the first tip is to start making use of bebop scales. So bebop scales are what happen when you um, add a passing tone to a seven note scale uh, to ensure that all chord tones fall on strong beats in an eighth note line. So we're going to be taking a look at the G dominant bebop scale, which will work over G7 chord. So the scale is basically adding an F sharp to a G mixolydian scale. So. So you'll notice that the root, the flat seven, the fifth, and the third are falling on strong beats, which are all my chord tones of G7, and this is just going to ensure that I have harmonic clarity in my line. So even though I might add in more chromaticism that's outside of the scale or play some kind of decorative figures in my eighth note lines, I still have the sound of G7 behind me. So the notes of the scale are G, A, B, C, D, E, F, F sharp, and G. So notice we have that added major seven. So if you want to start integrating the scale into your playing, you can start by um, descending the scale from every chord tone. So I'm going to descend the scale from the root, the flat seven, the fifth, and the third. And I mentioned descending uh, the scale rather than ascending just because that's usually the way the scale is used in uh, idiomatic bebop phrases. So here's the scale descending from the root. Here's from the flat seven from the fifth, and from the third. So the next tip uh, for improving your bebop vocabulary is to start integrating arpeggios into your lines. Uh, so within the dominant bebop scale, we have four arpeggios that are all built off of the chord tones of G7. So G, B, D, and F. Off of G, we just have G7. Off of B, we have B minor 7 flat 5, so that's B, D, F, and A, and notice that A is going to give me tension 9 over a G7 chord. Then off of the 5th, we have D minor 7, so that's the 5th, flat 7, 9th, and 11th, or D, F, A, and C. And then off the flat 7, I have F major 7, or flat 7, 9, 11, and 13, F, A, C, and E. So you can create simple bebop lines by connecting um, the arpeggios to the scale. So we want to do arpeggio ascending and the scale descending. So here's how that sounds from F major 7. Here's from D minor 7. From B minor 7 flat 5. And then from G7. So notice with the G7 arpeggio, I landed on E natural, which is a non-chord tone on a strong beat, and I resolved that to the next lowest note in the scale using an extra chromatic approach, so that E, E flat to D, and then I continued down the scale from there. So in the mentorship session, we're going to be covering a lot more concepts that you can integrate into your playing for more complex bebop phrasing. So tip number three is to start incorporating chromatic approaches uh, and enclosures that are outside of the scale. Uh, so one of my favorite uh, chromatic approaches is this one. So this is uh, using an eighth note triplet and a minor third or the distance of a minor third within the scale. So I have a minor third from E to G and I just fill that in with chromaticism. So there's a lot of different places that you can incorporate this uh, in the scale. Also from the ninth to the fourth from the third to the fifth, and from the fifth to the flat seven. 
So to start incorporating this uh, chromatic approach into your playing, we're just going to connect it to the dominant bebop scale. So I'm gonna use that approach from the sixth to the root of the scale, and then just descend the dominant bebop scale. So next up, let's look at all of these concepts in context over a major 2-5-1. So starting on our two chord, we're going to be making use of the dominant bebop scale, and we're also going to use the same scale over the five chord. So that'll be G dominant bebop. So on our two chord, we're going to start with that chromatic approach, that distance of a minor third in the scale. We're going to descend the scale down to the flat seven, where I'm going to then do an F major seven arpeggio. So anytime you land on a chord tone on a strong beat, you can feel free to incorporate one of those arpeggios that I mentioned. So here's F major seven. And then I land on D, which is gonna be the ninth, landing on beat one of my C major seven. So here's how the phrase sounds slowly. And here's how it sounds up to speed. So if you want to take a deeper look at some of these concepts as well as others that you can incorporate into your bebop playing, uh, use the link below in the description to sign up for my mentorship session February 26th at 2 p.m. And if you have any questions that you'd like for me to cover in the session, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.